Our Jim Gaffigan knows what he likes and would like you to know all about it. I like beer. This may not surprise you by looking at me. I am an overweight American male in my early 40s. All right, late 40s. All right, let's just say I'm an overweight American male who likes beer. Not just any beer. I like a quality beer that can help me forget that I'm, well, not in my early 40s. A beer preference is personal. At family reunions, my brothers will always make fun of me for liking fancy beer. Jimmy and his fancy beer. As far as I can tell, what makes my beer preference fancy to my brothers is that it requires a bottle opener. But I'm aware my beer palate is anything but complex. Now it seems every city, town, and hamlet I visit has its own beer made by locals. Specialty beers, micro beers, craft beers made by community artisans. And I can tell you without exception, they're all bad. I, I'm not exaggerating. No, I don't care how cute the beer name is that has to do with local folklore. I don't care how beautiful the hand-drawn label is of the cactus wrestling a penguin. The main problem is, well, they don't taste like beer. I guess I'm a traditionalist. I don't want a beer that tastes like chocolate or oranges or avocados. I want a beer that tastes like, I don't know, beer. How did we lose our way? Are we that bored with beer? I don't know about you, but I'm tired of fielding questions from waiters like, how hoppy do you like your beer? I don't know, how many hops are in a good tasting beer? Recently, I had a bartender try to sell me on a beer that had a Jolly Rancher kick to it. Oh, America, what happened? 